Hello everyone. Today I'll talk about different things you should avoid when the official classic hardcore servers goes live. Because if you do these mistakes, then you might also get stuck at an area with a lot of other people. So the different things I'll talk about today will get you in front of the leveling race and also increase the chance of you making it out of the starting zone without dying. So the first mistake you need to avoid is to pick up a quest where you need to kill one specific enemy. Sometimes these might have a long respawn time, and when a lot of other people are waiting for this to spawn, then you can easily spend around 10, maybe all the way up to 30 minutes for one quest. Meanwhile, you could just have killed different enemies and granted a lot more experience. And even though people form a line, then there will certainly be someone who will cut in front of the line and try to ninja tag the target. Later in the video, I'll talk about every single starting zone and what quest you should avoid doing. Another common mistake is to save all your copper in the beginning. Make sure to buy some water or maybe even food. This will make you able to get back into combat a lot faster. Here's a quick example. Without using water, I get between 4 to 5% mana every tick. But when I drink, I now get 11%. So I get at least twice as much mana for every tick. So by spending a bit of money in the beginning, you will also be able to leave the starting zone a bit faster. Usually, I like to use a leveling add-on when I need to level up a character, just because it's a bit more chill that way. But the thing is that these leveling add-ons are not meant for a fresh launch, when there's a lot of other people. Not only will many people follow the guide, but at the same time, it will not take into consideration that you should try to skip some of the quests in the starting zones. Therefore, I always make my own starting zone route, so I can follow this without too much competition, and this usually makes me able to be one of the first people to leave the starting zone. And then when I leave the starting zone, I can turn back on the leveling add-on, for example, in this case, rested experience. And then I just change the guide, so now it will tell me the quest that I have to do outside of the starting zone. And because I'm now in front of most of the people, then I don't have too much competition, and I can just start following the leveling add-on all the way up to 60, without skipping any quest. So as every single race in the game, there's going to be different starting zone quests you should skip. And as a gnome and dwarf, I would recommend you to skip this one. What you need to do is to loot three different objects. These are placed at different locations in the starting zone. There's a respawn time for these objects, and only one person at a time can loot it. So when you combine this together with competition, then it's not going to be worth it. Also because we gotta loot three different objects, and the experience you get from this quest is only equal to killing around five to six enemies. As a night elf, there's also a quest where you need to loot objects, and a total of 11 objects, mushrooms and lilies. The respawn time for these are usually more than 30 seconds, so definitely not worth it when you need to collect a total of 11 items. In the human starting zone, you can pick up this quest where you need to loot 8 Melis Harvest. These objects doesn't respawn that fast, and on top of this, there's also a lot of enemies patrolling in the area. So if there's a lot of nearby friendly players, then this could also cause the enemies to spawn super fast, maybe even when you're trying to loot a Melis Harvest. Next up is different quests you should skip as a Horde player, and if you're going to play Orc or Troll, then I would highly recommend you to skip Cactus Apples, because you need to loot 10 of these, and the respawn time is slow, and there isn't that many of these spawning all over the starting zone. In fact, there's even a second quest I would also recommend you to skip, as any of these races. This is where you need to wake up the lazy peons. Why I dislike this quest, is because sometimes you might be lucky enough to get a couple of these, but then you also start to notice, that the time it takes before they go back to sleep, is quite long, and combined together with competition, then you can easily spend 10 minutes doing this quest. As a Tauron player, there isn't really a quest that I prefer to skip. Most of these will just tell you to slay an enemy, or maybe just slay enemies and loot the objects. The only thing I would recommend you to do, is to reach level 5 as fast as possible, and then make sure that you leave the starting zone. As an undead player, there's one quest that you always need to skip, and this is where you need to loot 6 items from these boxes. The annoying part is that some of these boxes can also spawn inside the buildings, 
So sometimes you might spend a lot of time just waiting for one of these to respawn at the same location, but instead it respawned right next to you, inside the building, and maybe even on the second floor. Another common mistake is that people are being too aggressive, so they either pull too many enemies at the same time, or they pull an enemy before they're even ready for this fight, so they go before they have enough health or mana. In a situation like this, where you're for example fighting a boar, then you can't start running away when you're already at low health, else it allows the boar to also use its charge ability, and this deals a high amount of damage and also increases its movement speed. So it's honestly way better just to chill a bit more and maybe spend 5 more seconds in between each pull. Because in the end, this time spent will not have a huge impact compared to if you have to spend hours or days to level up a new character to reach the exact same level as your old character were. It's a really bad decision to also have too many different add-ons running at the same time. Because your loading screen will be a lot slower. And this is super bad if there's for example a disconnect and you're fighting an enemy. So what I tend to do if I accidentally disconnect is to try to log in as quickly as possible, but before I do this, then I also make sure I disable all my add-ons. That way I end up loading the game in next to no time and I can also increase my chance of surviving. Some of you might also be used to automatically repairing your items every time there's an opportunity to do this. In my opinion, it's a bad decision to spend money and time repairing your gear. As a low level character, you will for example replace these items quite quickly, and remember, when you died in original classic, this were also where you lost the most durability. In hardcore, you are not meant to die, and when you fight enemies, you don't suffer too much durability loss. Therefore, be careful with what you repair, and just choose some specific items. Official classic hardcore will also launch today, and I'm so excited to start my fresh journey. On my channel, you can find so many different guides, either about gold making, leveling tips and tricks, class guides, and a ton of other things. So if you haven't watched those, then I would highly recommend you to check them out, as you will build up more hype and hopefully also learn even more things before the release. I've also made different playlists with individual topics. So if there's a specific topic you're looking for, then you will be recommended videos only in that category. And after the release of the official classic hardcore servers, you can also expect a lot more videos to be published. What you can also expect is that I will start live streaming here on YouTube. These streams will start in a couple of hours from now and cover the launch, but also my journey from level 1 and hopefully all the way up to 60. Nonetheless, I hope I will catch you in one of these streams. And if you have any questions related to hardcore, then I'll try to answer these in the live stream as fast as possible. As always, thank you so much for watching and best of luck with your own hardcore journey. Peace!